and so on. How you doing? This is uh, Doug, fingersonthefrets.com. Today, I'm going to show you how I perform Drift Away. As always, if you go to my website, fingersonthefrets.com, you will get the download. Yeah, it's a couple bucks, I know. The videos are free. There's a lot of free videos out there. But how many of these guys are you uh, looking at can offer this? Not too many. Uh, it's a couple bucks. I think this one's seven pages long, but I scored out the whole tune. Now, this is my acoustic arrangement. So if you're going to play it along with the record, yeah, there's an electric guitar and all kinds of different instrumentation. If you have a band and a studio, knock yourself out. Good for you. But 90% but of the people I'm talking to are playing these songs acoustically and trying to have fun. So I score them for acoustic guitar. Let's get started. Capo is second fret. It's where it fits my voice. What I'm going to do is some hybrid picking here at the beginning for the main riff. I'm not going to play the 4th string at all. I've got the 5th string with my pick. Okay. And then hybrid picking here with the A finger and the M finger. 3rd finger stays. 3rd finger stays. Now 1st finger. Again, this is how I do it. Just a little interpretation. This is E sus4, which kind of looks like an A shape here, but you know, you just put the little finger here because you're playing the fourth note in the scale above the third note in the scale, which would be G sharp. I know that this is an E chord, I'm capoing, but just for ease of conversation, I'm saying that it's an E chord. Okay, so figure it the one at the beginning. little fills I did like that and four and uh, just to make it not so boring because if I went a little too boring okay here's the figure for the verse one two a three e and four and a one two a three e and four and a here it is Quarter, dotted eighth, sixteenth, and then two sixteenths. Try to start learning how to read rhythms if you can. Uh, it's probably hard to see here, sorry, with the lighting, but uh, one, two, uh, three, e, and four, and uh, the tab's there for those of you who don't want to try, but try not to be lazy. I mean, there's, it's not that hard, you know. Um, that's D, and then A. into the chorus I change the figure a little bit it's one and two and a three e and four and a one and two and a three because the bass changes there and if you don't have a bass player you want to kind of figure that out Right there is the is the new uh, kind of a part. We've got what I'm going to do is release the second finger and create D sus two because we're putting an E in there, um, which is the second note in the D scale. So sus two one two you know. so. When it's all written out, you can see where the 16th notes are and how that works and where the... One thing to remember when you're doing any of these tunes, if you're not really familiar with trying to play it um, like this, 
Uh, I don't want to say correctly because this, this is probably not what they did at all, but it works for an acoustic arrangement. It works pretty good. Um, it's subdivide, meaning keep this arm swinging, you know. You know, if I'm going underneath it, I'm going back and forth. But you're only going to hear... But you, you see me doing this the whole time. Keep that going. A lot of people will stop and then, oh, it's supposed to be another upstroke. Okay, that's good, but if I don't go up, I, I can't go back down. So keep it swinging like that. Back to the figure. Okay, so not a whole lot um, to talk about besides these, uh, basically three or four parts. So the main figure, I'll get closer so you can really see the fretboard this time. rhythm changed a little bit, but that's okay. You can download my uh, PDF here, and that'll help you. It kind of follows the vocal. Now, B minor. Okay, this one is one, two, and a three, E, and four, and a D. And then chorus, one, And then the little figure here at the end is. And we've got one E and A, uh, E and, three E, uh, four E and. <laughs> if you really want to know how to work all that out, what am I saying when I do that? One E and A. Uh, there are four sixteenth notes in a beat. So here's a quarter note. If I divide that into fours, I'd get one E and A. Uh. So if you see those double bars going across, one E and A. Uh, and then if there's a tie, you can't say that one. If it's an eighth note, that takes care of two sixteenth notes, so one of them you're not going to have to say. Um, at the website, I, I think there's some uh, rhythm lessons on there. If not, just email me. I mean, I'll help you out. No big deal. One E and A. Uh, e and. Three E. A uh, four E and. It's kind of a funny little rhythm, but it sounds great. And it sounds really nice at the end of that. Then back to... Hey, thanks for watching. This is Doug at uh, fingersonthefrets.com. Please go to the website. Uh, videos are free. There's a bunch of cool stuff on there. And if you like a tune really well, you can click and purchase and download the PDF tab uh, that I've arranged meticulously for you. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I hope to see you again real soon. Like us on Facebook and uh, all that stuff. See you again. Thanks.